In this video, we will review how to edit both the invoice date and due date for a whole batch at once. If you haven't already, go ahead and watch the video on edit unpaid invoice date of record to learn more about the feature details. First, navigate to Accounts Payable, Processing, Edit Unpaid Invoice Date with Record. Select the appropriate company code and subledger account. Enter the posted date of record, which would be the original posting date, and a new date of record, which will be the new posting date. Once eligible invoices have been found that were posted on the original date of record, the Find Invoice By field is enabled. Use it to narrow down the list of invoices. Choices are Audit Number, Invoice Number, and Supplier. In this case, we will choose the audit number as we would like to edit a whole batch. Enter a valid code for the selected category or select from the F2 lookup list. Once you've made your selection, hit Proceed. The invoices for new date of record screen will show the invoice date and due date columns that you can edit. You can edit them individually by using the calendar option and selecting a new date or manually typing in a date. However, we've also added a new find and replace feature. Right click on the dates that you would like to change. Select find and replace. Select the invoice date column to make a change to the values. Under the change data section, indicate which date you would like to find and what you want to replace it with. Select Find All to locate the selected cells. Then select Replace Highlighted Cells to change the data that are highlighted in blue, and it will update the data accordingly. Select the Due Date column, then repeat the same steps with the correct dates to replace the due dates. This new feature is very useful if you have a large batch of invoices you need to add it. Once done, hit OK. And when you're ready, hit Preview and Post. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.